And I am not by myself as always. I'm with my wonderful co host, Jay King, aka him, aka just Sam. Yes, sir. So, on today's episode, um, but before we get into it, let me be polite. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm um, thanks. How are you? I'm welcome. Mm. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I was I was listening to something, and they were talking about surgery. Yeah. Right. But a specific kind of surgery, which I did not know existed. Me neither. Until you mentioned it. Yeah. So I feel like. I'll need to do more research on it, but it's like something that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh-huh. It is a knee BBL. What the heck is a knee BBL, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a <laughs> knee BBL? And by knee BBL, it's not like you're making your knees bigger or anything. It's just you extending your height. No, <laughs> no, don't do it. No, it's just you. You know what I'm thinking? No, nah. <laughs> because you're thinking the same thing. Puma Satan, we rebuke you. <laughs> so, um, this guy, mm. actually, the girlfriend was the one who was talking about it. Like, she said they are both five seven, yeah. right? Um, and then she said the guy made a joke about getting knee BBL. Or Nibiel, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Nibiel, right? And she said to him, No, you don't need to get it. You are fine as you are. You like five seven is a bit tall, is it not? It's decent. What is de how tall are you? I'm five ten. Okay. Um so he's five seven and he said he wants to get an E B B L because he feels short. And the girl was like, She feels as though he does not need it. Because they've been together for four years. Mm. So her question was, who is she? Do- no, who is he doing it for? Because she loves him as he is. And um, they've been planning to move in together or rather buying a house together. And obviously this is not a South African brood, right? He is from the UK. And now he made a joke about it again, but it wasn't much of a joke is it was like more so him saying he actually wants to get it and he's done some research on it and he knows it's gonna like price that thing is 50k like 50 pounds to get yeah and like because they've been planning to get a house and like they've been planning to do things together financially she's like she feels as though she's not a priority to him in that sense, yeah, and now he's trying to prioritize this thing of him getting a NBL over her and the plans that they've been making throughout the years. So now that you've got all that, what's your take on the NBL? What's your take on her POV in the sense that she feels like she's not a priority? in the relationship and her question is to who is he doing it for let's hear it i don't know who he's doing it for but he's definitely doing it for the for the women i doubt i hardly doubt that what if it's like you know there's certain insecurities that a person could have right yeah, 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 yeah. and but, but i was getting there and oh, okay I sorry, I, sorry. I was making the joke like, oh, uh, apologies. i'll try to get the joke out the way you know it's for the bitches um the man's she, he maybe around the mendem he feels short, mm. and around the mendem because you said like you said it's from the UK around the mendem the mendem the mendem joke about it you know violate him they violate him yes you know he can't allow it anymore you know mm. so it might be that and he's like and he doesn't want to, I don't want to tell the girlfriend hey the mendem are roasting me every week yeah, yeah. and it's painful being roasted every week by the mendem you know. But I, I don't know, bro. Her point of view is, is it's valid, you know, in a sense, but it's also like it's his body at the end of the day. It's not like it's going to change how he feels about you. Mm, are you sure? Hey, boy, listen. 
if it changes, just know that his his upper leg and his lower leg will not be equal because he got a knee surgery. <laughs> okay, so like with this whole thing, right? Might as well just get prosthetics. Mm. True. But like with the whole thing, it had me like, it got me thinking. Mm. Because it's like, I, I'm trying to understand both their stunts on this. Mm. It's like, okay, if for him, it will make him feel better about himself. It's a, okay, go for it. But it's like medically advised not to. Because it's such a risky surgery. Hey, me, I would never. All right. And then from her POV, you would see it as her being selfish. Right. And like, why is it that you're now making it about you? But it would also be, a, oh, I understand. I Honestly, that man don't need it, man. Facts. He he doesn't need it, bro. Look, there, there, there are many short kings succeeding in life, you know. I.e. Kevin Hart, you know. <laughs> You're wrong for that. You but know? Like, yeah. And All I'm saying is like, it's not needed. Yeah. It's not a need, bro. If she, if that's the person you're going to move in with and that's the person you really love, then you shouldn't be worried about what anybody else is going to say. Bro. Honestly. Me, personally, I date a girl who's 6'3 if I have to. If she's fine with my height, it's fine. You, how about now you? Bro, <laughs> I'll look up to her. Yes, sir, as you should. You know, but eh, it's whatever. Like, it's not necessary to have, what when he gets the niche surgery, what height is he getting to? I don't know. What height is he, what, what's the aim? I'm pretty sure he wants to be like six foot one. Oh, that's a big six difference. Six foot though. four. That's a big difference. Probably five ten. Five ten is not. It's not bad. He can he can he can rock um, rock star boots. I he's five ten. Mm, because they have a platform, right? Yeah. He can do things like. So you can buy some Rick Owens, yeah, nah, something. What that fifty k? Buy a bunch of platform shoes, basically. You know. Yeah. Then can you say Next thing now your leg is amputated. Now you are forced to have prosthetic legs because of how dangerous the surgery is. Mm. Oh, well. so I, I'm not, I'm not for it. Same, because my other question is: you obviously gonna have kids. They won't be tall because you are not tall. Actually, no, he's kind of tall because he's taller than me. But it's like, what happens now when you have children and they become insecure about their height? How is it that you can make them feel better about being whatever height they are when you couldn't overcome your own insecurities? Bruh, my thing is like, some people say I'm tall. Some people say I'm short, right? mm also, fuck all you six six what what tall ass niggas. We love you. Fuck you guys. Right, but me from coming from a family I come from, I'm not really vexed because I'm like, oh, we are all here. It's cool. Yeah. It's not like it's not like I'm the only one who's five ten. You know, some some of my cousins are shorter than me. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're older than me. And it's like, oh, okay. and they're okay with their height. They don't. You know, it's not a, it's never been an iffy or. But why is height this whole? Because of law, nah. Because of your gender. I doubt. Yeah, fair. I doubt. Hmm? I doubt. Hmm? Me, I want a man who's six foot. I blame Do, everything on Do patriarchy. Don't that I'm too what I'm leading me BBL. No, I blame everything on patriarchy. Can blame on patriarchy, but it's law, nah. I said law, nah. No ways. It's law, nah. Can't be us. It's law, nah. Can't be us. It's patriarchy. Don't ask me how, but it's patriarchy. The fact that you don't have an answer. No, it's, you know what, Nem? Patriarchy. Mm. Follow me. Mm. There's this whole thing of mental health, mm. right? And men not being able to voice out their emotions, right? I'm Whose listening. fault is it that they can't do that? It's your fault. No. I'm No. Because, or not, because never, 
because me i blame it on patriarchy right yeah, reason why i blame on it on patriarchy a man himself will sit there and you'll say speak to me, talk to me i'm listening let it all out i feel you want at me and you don't in dota i call and that literally was what's the word I'm not finding the word but it was pushed on to people by men not women no it was not women okay it was pushed on to people by men say yin dota and kali i must do this i must do that okay go through life bury all these emotions okay. that are within me and not voice them out patriarchy guys me i'll stand on that okay i said what i said and i stand on it okay it's patriarchy okay thank you Oh, okay. I rest my case. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have anything to add? I don't know. It's supposed <laughs> to be a back and forth, so. <laughs> I don't call it. No, but for me, guys, I, I, I always blame a lot of things on patriarchy. Typical. Now you're going to call it because we're going to go back and forth if we keep on. But yeah. Me, BBL. Oh. Yeah, it's a new BBL. Like I found it, I found it weird because there's different surgeries, right, that different people can get. But it's like <laughs> knee BBL. Like, what exactly do they do to your knee to make you taller? That's why I got it. The other half of the leg will be longer than the other half, and this time it won't be the. It'll be the upper half long. <laughs> You don't even know. Imagine now you have to knee Marakamo. How cool am I? You're wrong for that, bruh. Vile. Oh, man. But then, again, nah, um, another thing that I came across was a TikTok, right? Mm. Of this lady. She usually does, like, it's not lifestyle content. She usually, like, she cooks. She cooks? She oh. makes food. Okay. As her, I think it's her main content and then she focuses on other things as well. But like every time I see her on my FYP, it's just her in the kitchen cooking. Mm. Right. So on this specific video, she she said her husband annoyed her. And so she's cooking a dish that requires a whole lot of onion and uh, not onions, a whole lot of tomatoes. Because he doesn't like tomatoes. Right? So That's just being a hater. It, it, it brought up a question. Oh. And I'm going to ask you. Is it being... Obviously, it's being petty. Yes. Yeah, it's, she, it's, it's, she, she's, she's petty. Way too petty. Yeah, for doing that. Yeah. Petty, LaBelle. Um, <laughs> but... I don't want to get too deep into this. Because for me, it... It angered me, mm. you know, to be like, okay, cool. I get that you're mad, but does you being mad take away the love. love that you have for me? Bro, the pettiest thing I do is just like tighten like the bottle or law. That's, 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 that's as far as it gets. But like your digestion, bro, that's a different thing, bro. Exactly, because I don't eat tomatoes. You don't eat anything acidic. Yes. So now imagine she go cook something acidic, knowing that like it's going to mess with your health. Send me to the hospital, bro. Immediately. Send the cheerful ones. Like polite ones. Because I was like, um, because I know myself. If I'm mad at a person, it will not take away the things I usually do for them. All right. Mm. So let's say I do cook. If I'm mad, it's best on guessing at. It's best. Yeah, it's best on kissing. Like, I'm, I'll, I'd rather I'll not go, cook for all of us. I'll go buy ribs and sit right next to you. The, we'll eat it together. Ah. We'll eat it. We'll eat it together. But if I'm mad, it's best that we all don't eat. And like me being petty and then going out to buy myself food alone, knowing that I have someone else in the house. Mm. I might be mad at you, mm. but I'll not stop doing like the things that I do for you. Right. Also, disclaimer: We are not in in any relationships. We're just speaking <laughs> hypothetically. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, me and like I said, ladies sliding the DMs. 
sad life you have, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, because I was asking myself, who's like, okay, you are mad at your husband, but like now, <laughs> in most relationships, what people don't realize is that once you start doing something, it becomes a tit for tat for tat. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like, okay, I'm mad at you, so I'm not going to do this for you. Next time, the other, your partner is mad at you, they'll be like, oh, the time she was mad at me, she didn't do this for me, so I'm not going to do this for her. So it's like, you were mad at me, or oh, by the mad. park. <laughs> Because, okay, she's mad at him. She's making a dish that has tomatoes. Now it escalates. Mm. Because. I think I'm not even going health. You see, mine is just regular petty. It's just like inconvenience. Because yeah, it's like you can inconvenience the person by just being petty in a different way. Not in a way you would now they'll the have health. to go to the hospital. It's like now dating someone who's lactose intolerant and then you make a dish that has like milk and Shop a, a whole lot of. In the a whole lot of dairy with cheese what and a lasagna then on the side. I feed them. Knowing what ah ah you and the toilet will be best friends. Or you might end up in hospital. Like now you are becoming a dangerous weapon. A weapon formed against your own partner. Stuck. And with you'll be prospering at the time, eh? They really will. Yeah. Because that's a person who really knows you, hey? Mm. They'll yeah. know how to kill you. I wanna why one hour told kids on it. Nah. It's on it. Nike ego for get pride. Oh. It's pride. For for some men, not all. But it's literally pride. Uh uh to me I, I still stand on the fact that she's doing a little bit too much. She could have at least hit the socks or something. It's the key out the bag ceiling fan if he's short. He's like not short. If he's not short, ah to but the key somewhere go to Nahan. Mm. Something. Lo yena tsa koloi empty way park o tsomo di long. But it's not inconvenience, but not danger to their health. <laughs> inconvenience. I remember this girl said, when a guy takes you to his house for a first <laughs> date. <laughs> 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 Yo, the comment section was bad. I heard one comment. One comment. This girl said she took all of his colognes and. Threw them in the freezer, bro. As she should. Why are you taking a stranger to your house after a first date? And the other one was take a lemon. Take a lemon. Mm -hmm. Put it, like hide that lemon. A lemon doesn't stink, but yeah. it will attract fruit flies. Highball. Yep. So he wouldn't know what's bringing the fruit flies to apartment in Because he can't smell it or a mm. but there will be fruit flies. Yeah. Your eye. And then one girl was like, uh, take Toya Microwave, the thing that helps it spin. Yeah. She was like, take that and hide it. And then another was like, what did she say? I forgot what she said. Oh, but it was like a lot of tiny odds. Oh, one oh, said, bulbs. yeah, like unscrew. Well, mine, you can't do that. Here, you have to take the whole thing off. You have no chance here. Why are you eating your situation thing? Because I don't bring anyone over. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> I, I don't bring anybody here. <laughs> it's sad. It's not funny. It is. You are airing your business out <laughs> there. <laughs> it's a sad life here. Guys, please hit them up. Like, slide in those DMs and just say, hey, let me take you out. You hey, know? if you're paying, you do that. If you're not paying, don't say, let me take you out. But saying, I could look at your pick. Three times in every day. Can what? Don't you know that sound? Uh, Are you serious? I haven't been on TikTok. That no, get out yeah. Is it a sound from last year? Dog, you think you think me? I, I remember all this. There's way too many sounds. I don't know. You cheeky, my guy. Uh, we are past that now. But like, there are a lot, dog. Like, okay, he started with "You're nice, you're nice." I could look at your pick three times in every day. Oh. I used to quote this. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Remember. Come on, bro. I remember. The thing is, is there's too many sounds. Agree. There's way too many sounds for me to remember, bro. But there's some sounds you can't forget. Yeah, for you. Because now there's that one, yeah. Is there a gentle What did he say? Like, he sent a girl VN. 
I forgot what he said, so I'm not even gonna try to quote it. Mm. Yeah. And, and we are off tracking. Are we? It's kind of Jamaican. Yeah. Okay, where were we? We're we? talking about inconveniencing a person. Like she didn't. She doesn't have to mess with the bro's health. But I, I don't. I don't like the fact that we're not Mati because it's quite a tumor in her. What if Anna Haji Barakin was? Okay. Uh, let me put in a South African perspective. Haji mm. like Mkhodu. And I get there. I hold it in the pot. And I make sure this time I'm cooking in the house. I'm not even going outside. Yeah. We must cut this out the whole day. The smell. Bro. People who don't eat Mkhodu, I worry about them. And I know a few. Because Mkhodu is delicious, eh? I know a few. What's on the avocado? My arrow Look shy, Sam. Kuzeg. No ways. No ways. We are beefing right now. <laughs> it's funny because where you come from, they are everywhere. I am beefing with you. Yo, Kumakaya. They're everywhere. Just all of you, bro. No, for me, is that I, I don't eat it because it doesn't want me. It's not the other way around. It doesn't want you. Yeah, I literally, I eat avocado, it comes back up. Like, what, you like? what do you mean? Like, is it just salt or is it aromat or is it just bread? No, it was salt and bread. Yeah, salt is crazy. Ah, uh, what do you mean salt is crazy? I'm not going to hold you now. I prefer ever with with aromat salt is a little bit salt remember salt ne? one mistake it's too much mm-hmm. yeah consumer studies yes thank you very much but then it's like it doesn't want me like i've tried it see her future boyfriend i just gave you a tip if you wanna like you see if she, if she does if she f's around and she cooks something you don't like just bring avocados and put in everything yeah, yeah, I'm in a hump. Yakshi. You put it in everything. It's over. You put it in a toothpaste. <laughs> I'm ending that relationship. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, babe. Mm. I love you, but. Nah, I'm joking. But it's like, in that case, uh uh-uh. uh. Me, I wouldn't. I'm sorry. See, thank you. <laughs> Inconvenience. Now I give you a little brush of makeup, kiss. It's all. It's all. It's all. It's all. Yeah. That's yeah. my inconvenience. Everything's on makeup, I'm hiding. Walk around with your natural looks, babes. Your natural skin. Confidence, y'all. We love it. If you try hair dryer. You can air dry your hair. If you try hair flattener, if you flattener, you don't need to flatten your hair every day. Listen, I'm making sure I'm hiding all those things on a Sunday. No, your Monday people need to go to work. Go to your gym, bruh. Give it a little Go to your gym. <laughs> they have a, a steamer. They have a hair dryer, a hair curler, and a hair flirt. They have a lot of appliances that you can use. How about your gym if you have a gym membership? You'll be fine. Crazy, crazy. I ain't know that. The main section. You didn't know. Oh, the guys. Oh. Yes, you know the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shower, all in the showers, it's just there. Locker room is everybody. If somebody decides to walk past naked, he's walking past naked. Um, there's there's a changing room in the women's. Yeah, I know. You told me. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, you know, like Ato told me. Yeah, there's two. And then, like, there by the mirrors, you get, there's the shower section. Mm. And then there's the bathroom, like the toilets. Mm. There's showers and then toilets. And then, like, your different lockers. And then, like, changing room. I and then change room. What change your locker room? Wow. And then by, by the mirrors, there's appliances that you can use. I, I, the last thing I saw by the mirror was a scale. And that's the end of our episode. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so it was scared. Okay. Like I said, I'm still hiding the makeup brushes. That's my way to inconvenience someone. I come up with it. Just inconvenience. I got the whole whole I got inconvenience of it. By hiding the makeup stuff. Or like slightly pull out pull out the charger from the plug. 
push me back in. Kebab pun biru kumurah. Lalu ya, nana lu masih six six, masih tenisim. That's what it is. The masih tenis fella, guys. Oh, okay, tuh kalau USB kita dati. Apa tu? I don't know what you're saying. Maybe a laptop, but the laptop's going to be mad slow. <laughs> I take the adapter. God is watching you. I'm petty, bro. There's no way. Me, I'm petty. I'll take one of the, the, the water bottles, one of the water bottles. Yeah. One of the water bottles. I'll take out the straw if I have to. Chuck the thing. It doesn't work like that. Because you have to sit like that one. You see my bottle there. The yeah. one that, you, that you're supposed to sip with. Mm-hmm. Pull out the straw. When you do this, nothing comes out. Because it needs the... It's, it's a, it's, there's a science behind it. But nothing comes out when you do that. I'm a 666 guy. <laughs> a Satanist. You're evil. Yeah. <laughs> You've, have, have I been petty? I don't think... I, wait. I haven't been petty, but I know how I can get petty. I don't think I've been petty. I haven't been petty to anybody in a while. Somebody do something to me, I'm ready to be petty. I'll leave you like, oh, dude, don't talk to me. You did me dirty. Bye. That's what I do. That's why I'm here. Mm. Sink it. Yeah, so guys, this was the other sessions episode. I don't know, 10. Uh, it was a very petty yet good episode. And I've been in Jaya game. Send me a Koisha, guys. <laughs> I told you what's going on, man. Relax. This is your Krisha, but yeah, guys, this has been the diary session. I have been your host, Sokwa Tingana Katya Kangoveni, and he's been... Enjoy the game. Yeah. Thank you for listening to this chaotic episode. I was renting. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>